Enjoy a special blue pizza behind the scenes. Can't find it. Okay, everyone, have a great show. It's been a pleasure. It's been nice knowing you. Here we go. And roll A. We're on BT. with some serious superpowers. They've got super strength. Like me. Super senses. Like me. And they're fearless predators. Like me. Want to see one? Yep. <gasps> ah! Okay, here we go. Nice develop out the door for me, please, Chris. Up to your high wide. I'm going to cut to camera two with Tony. And then, Radzi, you're going to repo under the trails. Here we go. Go one. White. Keep presenters. Coming to two and on two. Live, Blue Peter. Hello. Coming up on today's show, see how Lindsay and I get Run on it. when we reach some serious speeds Recall racing rats. across the beach doing low karting. As well as that, Radzi visits the green capital of Europe and he makes a wildlife bond and just messes around with his old buddies Tim and Naomi. I've messed around far too much. Now, though, it is time to go absolutely crazy for the X Factor finalists. Only the young! Nice to develop there, Bomber. Thank you. Guys, thank you so much for being here on Blue Peter. Now, not only are you going to perform later on with an exclusive performance of your single, but I've got an idea. What do you reckon if instead of me asking you questions, the viewers got to ask for questions? Very good. That was good. You guys are definitely on board. So if you want to do that, all you've got to do is jump onto the Blue Peter website. We're going to come to camera one to get back to Blue Peter. Ask your questions, and I'll ask them later on. And go one. Now, you may just have to hurry one during where on earth, Barney Howard. Where is he? Well, he's not as far away as you might think. He's just next door in our studio gallery. And that's... Hello, Barney! There we go. Hello. Hi. Going back to camera two, and on two. He is directing our live show for his latest Blue Peter Challenge. And Barney's genuinely really nervous. He's never nervous. You're doing great, Barney. You're doing great. Okay, let's give him a lick. Yes. Okay, so see what happens when Rugby and I went head-to-head in our latest sporting challenge. White Ben Rene. Beautiful, thank you very much. We're on air, everybody. Woo! It's going well so far. <laughs> Oh. It's amazing how just doing the live thing makes it feel a bit more urgent, doesn't it? That sense of if it goes wrong, it's my fault, kind of thing. So there you go, that was our first link. Um, everything went well, all the cameras were beautiful. We've got such a talented team of people in here. Um, the next sequence is where Radzi actually sets up what I'm doing in here today. Uh, so he's just going through his lines now in the studio. I can see him down there. Uh, he's going to walk through to the gallery, introduce you to everybody in here so you can see what's happening behind the scenes. Uh, and then we're going to go into uh, a VT or a studio item that's got animals in it. Animals are notoriously difficult to work with. We've got a snake, a chameleon, and a crocodile. So we'll be well on the live. If they behave themselves, we should get some nice shots. In the meantime, I'm going to go for a lie down. That's what I'm doing. Your accelerator. Okay. So the further you pull it in, oh. the faster the cart will go. One of the most important things from a safety point of view, if we get a, a gust of wind, <gasps> it could go... Oh. Right over. Over. What do we do if that happens? Right, to stop that happening, you let the rope go, it then should come back down. If it doesn't come back down and it continues to go over, whatever you do, don't put your hand out to stop you. I didn't know bow karting was so extreme. <laughs> I'm excited about this. I really want to do this. Can we get in, please, Chris? Hold your horses, Radzi. Safety first. I need so much wind for me to move. I mean, look at look, look at Lindsay. Yes! <laughs> there you go. That's the benefit of being 20, 30 kilos lighter. I'm flying. <laughs> Radzi's in luck. The wind has suddenly picked up, reaching 30 miles per hour. Conditions that even catch Chris out. But someone who's no stranger to these unpredictable forces of nature is 13-year-old Zach, who came fourth in the European Championships in Denmark last month. How long did it take you to get as good as you are? Because you are incredible. Around about a year, something like that. Okay, so you've had a year. We've got about 10 minutes Not long. To, to perfect our flow party. What will, do you think will determine who is the most successful in this race? Well, 
The one who can control the better and not skid. I'm not skid. skid. There you go. Well, he's not skidding was a good thing because it makes you look cool. Time for challenge number one. Lindsay and I are against the clock to compete a figure of eight course. I'm up first. Oh, yeah, set, go. Woo! This is the great thing about having camera guys that work in studios all the time. So even if I'm thinking about what's coming up next, they're always focused on what they're doing and what shots they're going to offer. So really, it's like it's like the ultimate cheese board. You go and you're going to get a cheese board from a, from a restaurant, and they've got the best cheeses. So no matter what you do, no matter what you take a slice of, it's going to taste good. Uh, in this case, these boys are giving me some really good cheese. I just came up with that. It works for me though, doesn't it? Nobody wants smelly cheese. No smelly cheese shots today, please, boys. <laughs> Time to find out if I've beaten him. What did I get? <laughs> I love being runs. <laughs> Close call, Ramsey, but I win by just half a second. That's one nil to me. Yeah, yeah, that was just a warm up. This is where it counts a 400 meter race against each other. Right, this is it, the big one. Down to the cone, turn around the cone, back to the finish line. The first go. one back is the winner. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. 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 Right, I'm going fast, I'm going fast! This is awesome! I'm way out in front, but then something extraordinary happens behind me. We're going to start off with that lovely shot that Chris offered. Nice high wide on the Blue Peter badge. Down to a two shot. Long couple of sequences here that join together, but we know what we're doing. Everyone happy in the gallery? You're going to be on, you're going to be in vision in a minute. Everyone excited? Okay, coming out to camera one. Wipe go one. Yeah, Look lovely. at Matthew. He's doing his happy dance. He's been doing this for about a week since that happened, Stay haven't you? That was the best wheelie yeah. I've ever done. I've that ever was, done. To be fair, that was awesome. So oh, it's amazing. Okay, I basically love sports. Four. So if you love sports as well, then you need to get your hand on, on this. The Blue Peter Let's Summer go. Bottom Sports the top, nice and Poster. Slow. It's available right online and it prints out into four A4 pages. So if you everything one. you need to know about the Summer of Sports, I'm actually right here on the CUUC Wing okay, Sports now. And every Saturday, you can catch Kick About Plus. So make sure you watch now something else you need to get your hands on is of course there one of these. Yes. The two. Blue Peter Sport Badge 20 favourite. How cool are they? Now remember, these are limited edition. All you have to do to get one is inspire a family member or a friend to get involved with the brand two. new sports. And if you got the blue one last year, you can still get the red sport badge and this year. And two. the best thing about applying is you could end up being one of the judges on really the panel at BBC's Young right Sports Personality of the Year. Go on. I'm going to walk and talk because we've okay, seen Barney's the gallery now. Challenge. I want to join him. I want to see how he's getting on. I know he's a little bit worse. So I thought we're going to actually join him backstage. There he is. Because backstage is a place called the gallery, which is like the hub of TV. Where TV's made like the HQ, it's right it's in here. It's a dark room and we don't usually get a chance to come in here. But come on in. This is where every really important person will sit. And the man himself with a learner sign there. Bye. I love that. It's a nice touch. You're still smiling. How I am. You? I'm really enjoying myself. To give you an idea of what the director does, it's a bit like um, like a conductor who conducts an orchestra. He's got all those fantastic musicians in front of him. It's his job to make sure that everyone's in time. That's kind of what I'm doing. Everybody here is so good at their jobs, including this fine man on camera three right here. And all I've got to do really is make sure they all tie in together. And down here you can see the different monitors that have got each individual shot for each camera. So camera one, camera two, camera three, camera four. You can see Lindsay getting ready because she knows she's got another bit on camera two. In fact, let's go to camera two right now to hear from Hello. Lindsay. Hello, you're doing so well, Barnes. Very Thank proud you, of you. Um, now, we all know what the director's doing because us presenters wear little earpieces. They're magical little devices that go in our ears. We're so we know exactly what the boss is saying. And everyone here on the studio floor is wearing headsets as well. So Barney, we know what you're saying and we're following you. Thanks, Lynn. Q3 and Q ready. So, like I said, I'm still backstage, and whilst Barney was cutting up to the camera, Caroline was in charge of that. But a man that's a shying, shy and retiring character is producer Jamie. Jamie, how are you, and what do you do? I'm good, thanks, Rabsy. Yeah, it's my job to worry about the content, so I need to make sure that you are saying and doing the right things yes. at the right time. So you need to shop to bring nets, OK? <laughs> OK. <laughs> bosses me about a lot, but I can be a bit cheeky because it's live on television. Bryn, what do you do? Uh, I play in your films and your graphics from here. Oh, so you produce all the magic, I all those cool things you see on screen. That's what I do. 
amazing. Now, a lady that's always got a stopwatch on her is Helen Vision Mixer. Helen, what do you do? Uh, it's my job to count the show on air, keep it to time, and generally keep you in check. Which is a very, very tough job. I have to say that I do like your hair and makeup today, Helen. It's very, very nice. How much time do we have left? Just 10 seconds left. Just 10 seconds left. Better not this up and stop messing around. Michelle, thank you, mate. Thank you, mate. Cheers. Now, if you want to speak to Brian and find out what he's getting up to, just ask him any questions. Get rid of camera four. You can do that on a live web chat as soon as the show's over, so make sure you do that. Now, Lindsay's got a little bit of a surprise for Brian. She's got a little added extra that might make his job a little bit more difficult. Camera four, cue Lindsay. That's right. I'm going to do everything I can to keep these next, next guests nice and stilfy, Brian, and make your job okay, easy. One, have please, you Chris. ever wondered what it's like to have a guest. superpower? We're about to find out. Please welcome Scott, one. our animal expert. And one. Applause, please. Hello, Scott. Thank you for coming on, Blue Peter. Okay. Now, what's all this about animals with superpowers? Well, okay, there's lots two. of animals in the animal kingdom that have got some real-life superpowers. Powers, yeah, and that's what we're going to be one. finding out about today. How oh. cool is that? I love Blue Peter sometimes. <laughs> um, who have we got up first, and what is their get? superpower? Well, the first time we're going to get to meet a real life crocodile. He's looking at me. Well, she's looking at me. We've got a nice frontal shot there, camera two. Super strength. Super strength. Would you like Bring to it on? There he is. I would. Who is this? This is Nala. She is a West African crocodile. Would you like to have a hold? Yeah. Thank you. She's not going to bite me, is she? She's not going to bite you, no. Come on, then, Nala. She's very friendly. Nala, 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 Crocodiles are amazing. They've been around since the dinosaurs. Okay, they can hold their breath underwater for two hours. Amazing. That's a superpower. Two right? four. hours. Four. That is ridiculous. Four. Well done, you, Nala. But something <laughs> even better than that, they have got the strongest <laughs> bite in the whole of the animal kingdom. Stronger I than a great white shark. Back. Stronger than a tiger. Let's come back to camera really? four. Really? 1,700 kilograms of pressure. Now, I thought <laughs> maybe, strong, I thought that maybe you might like to try four. your strength out today and see if you can get anywhere near a crocodile bite. Gorgeous creature. Look at Nala. She's working on camera. Okay, Thank I'll you. give her back to you. And then let's test my strength. I'm okay. not going to do a bite, am I? You're not going to bite it. No, we're going to use your hands. But okay. Brought along with the pressure count. This is a close for camera. Okay. So we're going to get you to squeeze it. It's you squeeze it really hard. Back, so a crocodile is 1,700. So okay, that's the aim. Let's get the camera until we get our reading. One, two, three. Go! That's ridiculous. Rubbish. That was rubbish. That was too handy. Wow. Can I have a little look at that, Lindsay? Yeah, that's true. Crocodile 1,700, you yeah. managed to do 36. Brilliant. I have not got the superpower of super strength, have I? Not quite the same as a crocodile. <laughs> Let's move on. Who's okay, next? Tony, go for close-up of the teeth when they come in. Get out. What's his superpower? He looks cool. Uh, well, the next animal that we're going to get to meet oh, is... Okay. Okay. Yeah. And their superpower is... Super stealth. Super stealth. They I are like the it. ultimate oh, colour changes. Who's this? Animal. So this is Pascal. Hello, Pascal. Can I have a hot? Oh, oh, he's really yes. gripping onto those trees. Coming out, has got fantastic grip, which you're going to get to feel yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Bless him. Just wanted to get on camera. Come on then, Pascal. Okay. Can I hold him? Well yeah, followed. Then. So I'm kind really of acting like the branches here, really aren't I? Okay. Well. So what? What? Um, talk yeah. to me a little bit. Well, Pascal's got some amazing features. First one, he's got eyes in the back of his head. What does that mean? How can you see with eyes in the back well, of your head? Well, Pascal's got eyes please. that move totally independently. You've got so this one of these eyes can be looking forward to see if there's any prey oh, wants yeah, to eat. we can see there. But his other eye can look in the opposite direction to account for Beautiful predators shots. that come keeps him safe in the rainforest. That's amazing. Now, he's got a real um, grip. <laughs> he's not letting go of me Well, some of his other superpowers are he's got nice some hydraulic four, clamps for claws. For his feet, mm -hmm. so he's holding on to your Thank fingers you, like he'd be holding on to the branches. And back out to if walk. you want to, you could probably tilt him gently really? upside down. He's not going to fall see. onto the floor. Okay, ready, Pascal? We're going for a ride. Let's follow this. Oh, oh, yeah, Pascal. Pascal. And he's even got a prehensile tail that he's Beautiful wrapped shot. around your oh, arm. There's a safety so wire just walk. in case anything bad did happen. Now, what about this hat on top of his head? That's pretty cool. It's like kind of his version of Radzi. Thanks, Tony. Do you know what? It's like Radzi uses that to show off to the community with the throw. What he also does with that, he it's collects rainwater, so the rainwater runs down his head, oh, down the groove and stays into his mouth, so it helps him to collect rainwater. Lovely, Lovely shot on camera too, tell me that's beautiful. Now, he's got that. a pretty cool tongue as well, hasn't he? He has got a cool tongue, and this is a superpower that we're going to have a little think about now. He's got a tongue that is one and a half times the length of his body, which is See, that's ridiculous. It shoots okay, out his mouth. Just, just to show you how long that is, okay, I'll give Pascal back to you, because Radzi's here. So, if I'm 1.5 metres long, this... Is what my oh, he's hello, holding Pascal. on to be alive, isn't he? Go. Okay, so this is what my tongue would look stay like. With it for now. Go. That's a good shot, camera three. Two left on chat look at that! Wow. Okay, let's go to the reveal camera two. That That's a big tongue. Two point two meters, my tongue would be. Oh, Pascal's so camera cool. Four, Thanks, right? Take your tongue. Take my tongue. Right. Off you okay. go. <laughs> Now, um, colour changing. He does that a lot. He hasn't done it today. Yes, he hasn't done it today. So Lindsay, about the colour changing thing, right? Well, everybody knows about chocolate.